Here we'll go through an example question on decreasing solubility using the common ion effect. Here's an example of a question involving decreasing the solubility of a compound. You have a saturated BASO4 solution and a list of possible compounds to add. You are asked which of these added compounds will cause more BASO4 precipitate to form and therefore decrease its solubility. We'll start by looking at KNO3. KNO3 dissociates into K plus and NO3 minus ions. Neither of these are common with the ions in the low solubility compound BASO4. Therefore, adding KNO3 will not decrease the solubility of BASO4. Next, we'll look at ammonium sulfate. Ammonium sulfate, like all ammonium compounds, is highly soluble and this one dissociates into NH4 plus and sulfate ions. The sulfate ion is common to both soluble ammonium sulfate and the low solubility compound BASO4. Therefore, adding ammonium sulfate will decrease the solubility of BASO4 and cause more BASO4 precipitate to form. Next, we'll look at the compound barium nitrate. Like all nitrate compounds, this is highly soluble it dissociates into barium and nitrate ions. We can see that the soluble compound barium nitrate and the low solubility compound barium sulfate have the Ba2 plus or barium ion in common. This means that adding soluble barium nitrate will decrease the solubility of BASO4 and cause more BASO4 precipitate to form. Lastly, we'll look at BASO4. First of all, by looking on the solubility table, we see that BASO4 is a low solubility compound, so it did not dissolve enough to supply a significant number of any ions. Also, it's the very same compound as the one that is forming the saturated solution in this question. This will have no effect on the solubility of barium sulfate. We'll show you why. Here's a representation of the original saturated BASO4 solution. The surface of the solid precipitate is flashing. Now we'll add more solid BASO4 to the beaker, and we'll make the surface area flash again. We can see that the total surface area of the solid BASO4 has been increased. Increasing the surface area will provide more surface so that the BASO4 ions can leave thus increasing the rate of dissolving. We represent this by showing a longer harpoon arrow pointing to the right. However, we have to realize that because the total surface area of the solid has been increased, it will also provide more surface area for the ions to precipitate on. Thus, it will increase the rate of precipitation just as much as the rate of dissolving. And we can also extend the left pointing harpoon arrow that represents precipitation. The rate of dissolving and the rate of precipitation are both higher, but they're still equal to each other. So when the solid BASO4 is added to a saturated solution of BASO4, there's no change in the equilibrium state. Therefore, the solubility of BASO4 is not affected. Therefore, we can say that adding solid BASO4 will have no effect on the solubility of BASO4. It's important to remember that adding more of the same compound as a precipitate in a saturated solution will have no effect on the solubility of the compound.